Hello and welcome to Age of Empires 3 Tips and Tricks with me, Interjection. This is number 5, and this video will be about the attack move. Now, attack move is just a hotkey which will make all of your selected units target the closest enemy unit to them. Now, if that doesn't really make any sense, then, well, I'm sure you're all aware that when you right-click on an enemy unit to attack it, all of your units will head over to that one unit which you right clicked on and as you can see it results in them walking about wasting time being attacked by other units and not doing any damage themselves whilst they're just trying to get into whilst they're just trying to get into combat with the unit you right clicked on once that unit is dead though as you can see here, they will automatically find themselves a new target and that target will always be the enemy unit which is closest to them however, as you can see here, the attack move will make all of your selected units immediately target the closest enemy units to them. This time, my units are not bumbling around into each other taking damage and are instead efficiently straight into doing damage, which is what you want them to do, obviously. To use the attack move on vanilla Age of Empires 3, you select your army and then just press X on your keyboard and then right click anywhere on the screen. On the Asian Dynasties, however, you press the Z button, or for you American people, the Z button. Ooh, Z, Zebra, Zebra, no, Zebra. So yeah, you press Z, and then right-click on the screen. Another attack move scenario is that you have ranged units, not melee units, and would, as you do, right-click on the enemy unit, which you want to kill, but would end up massively, massively overkilling that one unit, and would waste about 95% of your army's shots, simply because you do not need 50 skirmishes to kill one pikeman. In fact, you only need four shots to kill a pikeman, but we'll talk about army micromanagement in a separate video. Basically though, with attack move, since your units will target the closest unit to them, you're more likely to spread the damage your army can do efficiently over more units and end up wasting less shots because you only want to use the exact amount of shots necessary to kill a unit, otherwise you're wasting them. However, unless of course, which is often the case, your units will all target the same unit, because that unit is the closest unit for all of them. An example of this is when your opponent is retreating, you use attack move, but all your units end up targeting the very unit at the very back of the, your opponent's formation as he's walking away from you or something. Finally, a good idea might be to change the attack move to a different button on your keyboard. A better button might be the spacebar because that's much easier to press when you're in a hurry. To change it, go to your options, go to the hotkeys just here, and then click on the attack move which should be on the first tab in general game hotkeys, and then you just press the change button here, and then just press space on your keyboard, and then press OK. And now whenever you press space, uh, that will be your attack move. However, I've just changed it on vanilla. It won't change on the Asian Dynasties. I'll have to change it on the Asian Dynasties as they are separate games and have different settings. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it or found it useful. And if you did, remember to give it a good thumbing. A good thumbing. Also, just like to mention that lots of games have an attack move. Not just Age of Empires 3, but uh, lots of RTS games. I believe Age of Empires 2 will be getting one when the Forgotten Empires expansion pack comes out, which is nice. So, thank you very much again, and goodbye.